Closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch. Deep free protection from biting insects. Now, you can see right ahead of me here all the tails sticking out of the water. We just spooked them by putting the motor in gear. Let's see if it's going to hit the Rapala. Oh, they've gone further down. You can see the bait fish and the school of the jacks. So we're just off the beach. See if any's following? No. I got to make a longer cast. <clears throat> That's off to the right. Wind got it. Okay. Fish on. I think I got one on, Barb. Good going. Okay, do you want to fight it? Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, how often do you get to cast a school of jacks and oh, get rooster awesome. fish? Lots of I mean, fish. I can't look at all these people are just walking when they could be fishing on the beach. Can you believe that? These jacks are good fighters. Yeah. They no, I, I, I'm guessing that was 50 to 100 fish. I'm sure. All, all you saw was their tails sticking yes. out of the water. And you can see the bait fish. Every once in a while, they'll turn on and just smack a bait fish. So it really helps to have a lure that looks like a minnow, like a rapala that's about 12 centimeters long. Okay, Barb, try to steer them to your left if you can. You're doing great, honey. Thank you. It's a nice stable boat to fish out of, eh? Whether we're it fishing is a from beautiful the front boat. or from yeah. the back. Doing good. Just keep the pressure on. You know, while you're fighting it, I'm oh. just going to get the glove bar okay. so that I can take the hook out and the pliers. I'm back. I'm back in action. Okay, Barb, do you want to step back just a little bit? Okay. Just to get down a little bit lower? Okay. Because uh, I'm going to be lifting the fish up once it gets close. The one thing you got to be careful of with most fish, especially saltwater fish, they'll have spines. I see them. It's a there nice jack, oh, Barb. He's beautiful. You know, if you had a fly rod, Barb, mm -hmm. and you cast a fly into these fish, yeah. you could get him on a fly. Just be careful if he starts to flop around. Okay. I don't want to get hurt. Are we going to get a grunt? Oh, do you, uh, do you hear that? The grunts? Yes. Okay. I heard the grunts. Okay, I'm going to keep them right on the side. Man, he nailed it, Barb. There. Two. Tell you what, these hooks really catch. That's with the sure set. They sure like the rapala. Yep. There. Beautiful fish. Because I'm high up, I'm going to just drop them down. Okay, Barb, I don't think he's going to take long before he takes off. I mean, he's going to go straight down. Bye bye. Wow, tons of energy. Amazing. If you ever want to be kept up to date on some of the latest fishing information and news, all you have to go is to our Canadian Sport Fishing website. And a couple of departments there, one is Italo's blog. So while I'm filming here in Mexico, I've actually been doing a blog report every evening when I get back to my room. So you can actually see what I'm catching on location or how the fishing is back at home, no matter what time of the year it is. One of the departments is called Ask Italo. And I get a lot of people that ask me questions. Now I don't email the question, the answers back to them. You have to go in to view questions and answers. And I've done that on purpose so that when a person goes in to look at his question and my answer, he can look at everybody's question and answers if he wants. One of the frequently asked questions is, where can I go to catch fish and what should I use? Well, if you're coming here to Mexico, it's a perfect destination in the winter time. And I'd say Mazatlan, Mexico is one of the best locations because they're right on the northwest coast of Mexico and you can fish salt water and you can also fish El Salto Lake for really big largemouth bass. What should you use if you're fishing in salt water? You know what? Three categories of lures. The first one that we've done so well on is the Rapala x wrap and it's the number 12. This is the one that I'm holding up here. It's 12 centimeters long. Doesn't matter whether it's the blue and silver or whether it's the black with silver. It seems to have just the right action and be the right size to represent the bait fish that are all along the coast here in the ocean. So this lure will dive down to about five feet, whether you're trolling or casting, and it'll catch a lot of fish. If you see fish busting the surface and pushing the bait fish up, a very good lure to use is the Rapala Skitter Walk. This is it here, and you can see that it's got the silver saltwater hooks. They're cadmium. So you fire this out as far as you can where you've seen the bait fish, and you reel it in very quickly. 
Not like back home where you make it walk the dog from side to size for bass or for pike or muskie. You want to cast it out and make it look like a bait fish is frantically trying to swim across the top of the water. Then the last lure and presentation that works really well in salt water is to use a jig with a bait fish plastic grub. What I'm holding up here is a three and a half inch and this is the Storm Wild Eye Living Minnow. And you can see that the actual jig is inside the plastic. So this particular lure works really well in these conditions where you're fishing deeper water, maybe casting to a coral reef or rocks, and you're targeting fish that are nowhere near the surface, fish like snapper, grouper, and other fish of those species. All you do is cast this up, pretend you're walleye fishing like back home. If you have these three simple lures with you, you're probably gonna catch a lot of fish.